Okay, in a lot of our projects, we're dealing with audio files, uh, recordings of stories being told, um, recordings of conversations, bits of history, um, anything really. And well, having the audio is nice. One of the important things to do is to transcribe it, to get the, the audio reduced to text so it can be read. Um, well, sometimes we'll transcribe it in the minority language and then translate it into a national language. Sometimes we'll transcribe it in the minority language and then we'll transcribe it into IPA. In my example here, I'm going to uh, transcribe a story I recorded myself say about my grandmother. I'm going to uh, type it in English and then I'm going to insert a transcription into IPA. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on tracks, add new label. I'm going to actually add two labels, add new label. So what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight the text or the area of speech that I'm going to transcribe and hit control B. That will add a label to the second track. And then I'm going to play this, what I've got highlighted, but I'm going to use the loop feature and it comes with audacity. So I'm going to, if you hover over the play button, you'll see place, or space or loop play shift space. So I'm going to hit shift space on my keyboard and it's going to loop. And I'm going to play, I'm going to let it play once or twice where you can hear it while I'm typing. And then I'm going to turn the volume way down on the recording because that's going to get obnoxious to you pretty quick. My grandmother grew up in the US state of West Virginia. My grandmother grew up in the US state of West Virginia. All right, and now I'm gonna highlight the second track and this is gonna be my IPA track. I'm gonna hit control shift B or control B, sorry. Uh, and I'm gonna highlight, and I'm gonna actually gonna copy paste some IPA from another document. Then I'm gonna to move to the next track section. And I'm gonna hit control B. That brings the next label. Shift play. I'm gonna call it Great Depression. Ah. I'm, <laughs> I forgot to highlight the text. Shift space. During the time we call it Great Depression. During the time we call it Great Depression. And you can see my label uh, extends past the thing. Since because I have space to do it, I'm going to extend it past. I'm going to highlight my track two. Control B. And highlight in my text, my IPA during the time we call the Great Depression. And now I'm just gonna work on down the text and I'm gonna fade the screen out. And when I come back, it'll all be transcribed. Okay, I have just finished transcribing this uh, audio. I'm gonna make sure I save file, save project, save project. I've already saved it as something, my grandmother. All right, so now I have the audio, I have the label. I want to export the labels as my transcribed text, file, export, export labels. And I'm going to bring it to my transcription examples folder. I'll give it a name, my grandmother, or two, uh, two, because I've already worked on this before, and I'll save it. Now, you can see in here, here's my grandmother to text. This is where it was saved. If I open it up, this is what it looks like. My text and lines. But I've found it works for me to right click, rename CSV. Yes, I know. Right click, open with. LibreOffice, LibreOffice. 
uh, tab file. Yep. And here you have your timing files on the over here, start and end. Here you have the text. You can see it's divided by labels. So my top label is here, bottom label is down here. And then I can take this in and do with it as I will. And that is a quick and easy way to make transcriptions, to get transcribed text using Audacity. And sometime later, we will um, demonstrate using a tool called Samor, but this is here now.